here because you're important to, to this family and to this, this couple. And uh, we're just grateful to have you. And uh, it's already smoking, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to turn this over quickly. But uh, I was talking to, to Grandpa T, as we call him. Tom and Denise have been together since they were, they, they dated for like eight years and then they got married and they're coming up on actual 60. Uh, here at Bernstein. I honor you guys and, and thank you for the example that you've been for Kristen and I. And uh, we just love you so much. We're so grateful for, for the rest of the Schultzes who have traveled so far to be here and, and everyone who, just for the effort that you made to be with us tonight and for this weekend. And, uh, um, somebody asked me today, uh, you know, how I always do it. And uh, I said, well, you know, um, I'm doing pretty good. And uh, he said, you seem pretty chill. And I was like, well, you know, there's a lot to do. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but the important stuff, I don't have to worry about because I've seen this couple. <laughs> I know this couple very well, and I know what God has in store for them, and we could be more common than our other than um, just delighted uh, to be celebrating with you. Uh, we love you very much, and we're grateful for the families that are being joined here, the Charlies, the Davidsons, the, the, the other Davidsons, the, the Schultzes, the, the, the Freemans. We, 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 we just throw the Freemans in there. I mean, uh, it's just, it's such a blessing. And, um, you know, um, they say if you look at your friends, um, you show me your future. And, and I see this group of, of people that love y'all so much. And, and uh, I'm just so grateful. Uh, it, it, it's an answer to to prayer for, for Kristen and I. We've been on our knees quite a bit. Uh, college, especially. <laughs> <laughs> we really, really learned how to pray here at college. And uh, it's really it's shaped our faith. <laughs> well, yeah, we thank God for you. We <laughs> It's like, oh, yeah. please. Um, yeah, so, um, um, you don't need to pipe in. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, but, but thank you all for being here. And I know that there's some folks that, that want to get up and, and I honor you guys. As, and we're just so grateful. We love you so much. And um, we wish you all the best. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon. Um, this is the biggest honor to stay by y'all's side this weekend. Um, we just love y'all like family. I feel like y'all are not siblings more than friends. So we love all of y'all. Thank you to the Pipers and the Davidsons for the most perfect weekend ever. All for the last couple weeks, Margaret's been saying, like, I don't care about anything. I just want to marry Harrison. I know you feel But um, I thought I'd make y'all laugh tonight instead of oh, So, yes. anyways, we have somebody very special here that, honestly, I don't think I would be here at all tonight if it weren't for my brother Bedford. So, anyway, so I was home from college. I'm one year ahead of Morgan Harrison, and, and so I was home from college one weekend, my freshman year, and I was just sitting there looking at Instagram, and my little freshman year in high school brother walks in the room. He's like, "Francis, Francis, Francis." Oh. Are y'all doing Rush yet? And I was like, no, I mean, you know, not really. It's not even Christmas yet. And he said, okay, well, I have to tell you this girl, y'all. Kyo has to get this girl. I was like, tell me. 
Marge ain't Steve. You gotta get Marge ain't Steve. If Kaya doesn't get Marge ain't Steve, then they're weird. And I was like, okay, that's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna get Marge ain't Steve. <laughs> so, one thing led to another. I went to Birmingham lots of times my first year to take Margaret out, see if she would go to Kaya. Here we are, she did. But then, the story ends so happily. On Wednesday, my brother got a picture with Marge ain't Steve. Margaret 
and Harrison and Boone Breeze's second parents, and uh, our creepy house on Lakeside as well. But uh, over the years, I was lucky to have these two as great friends, and I've had a lot of great memories, which I don't won't delve into too much here to save Margaret some added stress. But uh, what I will tell you is this couple has had some amazing things and has something that's really special that's really rare today. And it's true love and it is really apparent to anybody who's ever spent time with these two. And uh, independently, these two are awesome people. And I'm really excited to see what these two will have uh, together in the future. Join in marriage. Uh, I wish nothing but the best of these two. Cheers.
Talk over everything and you'll find you're still on your honeymoon. Communication is the most important. It's the secret. So congratulations on your marriage and welcome to our <laughs> I met Margaret at the midday that uh, Bedford so commemorated uh, on Instagram. Uh, and we met in college, and I met Harrison a few weeks later. And as I was in college, I learned that friends come and go, but I uh, met Margaret. Uh, we stuck together like glue. And as I was in college, spending most of my moments with Margaret, I was so convinced that we were living our best while his most memorable years. Um, but I learned that I was very wrong. So after college, Margaret and I picked up and moved to Birmingham together with Jill. And since we all moved in together in that tiny little apartment, I have just been filled with such joy. Uh, because <laughs> and whether it's from acting like complete children <laughs> in our apartment together, um, having long two late nights at the grocery or having to go to Timby's because bad weather in our apartment will hold up. <laughs> I have learned that these, these years, these moments like tonight, these are our best, longest, most memorable years. And starting tomorrow, we'll get to live together. So, I think that's the most place. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name's Zach. Uh, I'll keep it short and sweet. Not so great good speeches. But uh, yeah, I met Harrison, you know, about seven years ago, and uh, he showed me what it was like to have a true friend. You know, I've never met anybody like him in my entire life. And these past two months have been the hardest months of my life. And the only person that's been there for me is, is Harrison. And uh, Margaret, you are truly married the, the best man I've ever met in my entire life. So uh, that's all I want to say. But, yeah. <laughs> You know, we started out college back as freshmen in Alabama. And Harrison was, you know, similar to what Reed was saying. We were, we were kind of like uh, bunk mates. You know, Harrison had the room right above me, so he would hop off the bed every morning. And he would wake me up, and he's about 260 pounds. <laughs> 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 and he'd come and wake us all up, but I mean, you know, every conversation that I had with that guy has always been about how, how much he loves Margaret. And it always, no matter what it's about, whether it's about football, whether it's about basketball, whether it's about hunting, fishing, he always finds a way to turn it back to be about Margaret. And this is because it's always, she is always the focus on his mind. He, she is always what he is thinking about constantly, and you know that that is what he cares about more than anything in the world. And you, you can tell that from any conversation that you have with him. And, you know, he's, he's just one of the kind of guys that, that's a leader and that cares about his friends, that cares about his family, whether it's, you know, coaching youth football or being a leader in the fraternity. He, he's just the kind of guy that you want your son to turn out to be. And, it's, it's amazing to see them go through high school together and go through college together and see how far that they've come. And I'm so happy to be here and be a part of this moment with them and just see them standing here together. I, I couldn't be more proud to be their friend and see where the future takes them. And I know that they're going to have an amazing life together. And I'm so proud of the people that they are, the people that they've become, and the people that they'll be. And I know they're, they've got great things ahead of them. So cheers to them. Hey everyone, 
everyone. My name is Brooke Bradshaw. <laughs> uh, so I was a sorority sister with Margaret. I'm from small town Alabama, and so going through Rush, Alabama was a big thing. And on the day, automatically, Margaret Davidson was this huge deal. Yeah. And she is. And she was one of those people, me, from small town Alabama, I was so new to the whole college scene in general, and I see this beautiful girl, vivacious, that everyone's obsessed with, and I'm like, she's got to be me. <laughs> she's got to be me. She wasn't. I wanted to hate her, you know, like that type of person. <laughs> I wanted to hate her so bad because she's so perfect and I wouldn't, I'm just one of those type of people. But lo and behold, if you had told freshman me that six years later I'd be standing up at her wedding to speak on behalf of what a good person she is and what a good friend she is, I don't even know if I would have believed you because I thought no way she would want to be friends with me because she's so perfect and she's so beautiful. But she's that type of person that sees the best in every single person on earth and cares so much about every single person she encounters and is the most, I feel blessed to have her as a friend. Harrison, you're so blessed to have her as a wife and she's just the most amazing per person in the world, like gracious beyond belief. And so... To end that, I'll say, and I've said it at Grace Ann's wedding, and I've said it at Morgan's wedding, and I'll say it in weddings in the future, but we are all so grateful. I mean, we're all so blessed to be here right now, to be a part of this community, to see them get married someday. Uh, tomorrow, not someday. <laughs> tomorrow. And so while we witness them get married tomorrow and watch them make a commitment to each other for the rest of their lives, we are all making a commitment as well. And I want to challenge you all to hold that up. We are making a commitment to submit to, to support them for the rest of their lives. We are making a commitment to hold up their marriage, to guide them towards God, to be there for them on the ups and downs, because they're going to have ups and downs. And so I challenge you all to continue to be there for them for the rest of their lives and love them all so much. It's, it wasn't taken lightly that we were all invited here tonight, and we are all so blessed. And so I'm so blessed to know both of you, and I love you both so much. And, and Praise the Lord for Margaret and Harrison, and cheers. Hey, I'm Annabelle, and out of many memories of Margaret, my favorite were when we lived together in Cayo for two years. And so here's I'm going to give you a little insight of what it's like to live with Margaret. So on game days, she will go to Starbucks and get your favorite coffee drink and your favorite Starbucks pastry and you lay in bed and talk about what you're excited for for the day, what you're going to wear, she helps you pick out your polo. Um, and then on days that you're really busy and really stressed, she will make your bed and pick up your side of the room so that you have time to worry about many of the other things that you have to deal with. And on days that you're having a bad day, Margaret will write little notes and put them on your dresser and on your bedside table so that she knows, um, so that she makes sure that you know how loved you are and how much she cherishes you. And Margaret, out of, oh, sorry, a little missional. So Margaret, out of all the things, many memories that all hold in me, um, one thing that you really taught me, oh, I didn't think I'd cry, my goodness, <laughs> was that um, your relationship with God. And you showed me how our God is a fun God and that he pops champagne with you and he laughs with you and he celebrates just all the little things with you. So cheers to these two forever roommates who will be popping champagne. <laughs>
and no matter whether it was good or bad, she is just there to listen. And um, she put my hair up in a ponytail for six months straight after I got surgery on my shoulder without question. And that is just a testament to the kind of friend she is. And I think that speaks to Harrison too, who has just been such a light. Y'all are both such a testament to true love and to what it means to love each other and to love other people. And I'm so blessed to know you. And um, I'm just so happy for you all. And cheers. 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 Piggybacking on that, um, you know, Harrison, uh, you know, he was always a prankster with with, uh, with me, and we were always cutting up, you know. And really, never a serious moment when we were when we were in junior high and we getting stage into high school. And uh, but no, I, was, I, I do remember vividly one one time in uh, tenth grade football when we were just the tackling dummies and pretty much useless in varsity practice. Uh, we were standing on the sidelines, cutting up. He's like, dude, he's like, damn. Or Davidson girls like, dude, like, she's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, you know, I'm kind of even, he like, got some feet, so he's like, I think I'm going to date her. <laughs> 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 all right, man, let's like, we'll see how it works, you know, all right. And, uh, but, uh, but no, and ever since then, I mean, y'all have been, y'all have been nothing but, you know, a perfect pair together, and uh, you've definitely kept them, uh, I'm glad that that happened, as, uh, yeah, kept them in line several times, but uh, but no, y'all have been y'all have been a, uh, a beautiful couple and and a uh, role model to to me and to a lot of other people on, on how to um, you know go through life together and and, and be a be a great couple and, and cheers to the to the life ahead. And, uh, Can we just give a round of applause to the Pyburns? Um, uh, yeah, it's been a great party. Yeah, so you two. Uh, y'all are y'all are two of my favorite people in the world. Uh, y'all's friendship means the world to Elizabeth and I. Uh, I wasn't exactly the best kid in high school. Uh, definitely was not a, a good influence on Harrison. Uh, but he, he really is the most authentic and loyal uh, friend I could ever ask for. So, uh, you know, we won a Super Bowl together. Uh, Dylan and I really kind of pulled the weight with coaching. <laughs> it was rec league football. But, you know, Dylan and I let Harrison call a couple plays every now and then. Uh, it was all coaching. Uh, but anyway, love you all too today. <laughs> Cheers to the podcast. Cheers to the podcast. Uh, Thank you so much. Um, like I said, we were the small town girls that sweet Margaret befriended. She took under her wing. Took under her wing, that's right. I came from a very small town, knew nothing about Alabama. And that girl right there, she gave me everything. Um, like Mark Annabelle, I don't understand why I get emotional, but that girl is everything. Um, she brings joy. She brings love. She brings everything. You know, we've been through ups and downs, and, and Margaret is constant. Um, to all of us in here, Margaret is constant, as is Harrison. And as they join together, I, I just can't wait to see the life they create. I am lucky. I am honored. I am privileged. Yes, I can be the crazy and fun one, <laughs> but I can also be the one that understands that these two people are joy. I mean, in this Christmas season, <laughs> Margaret and Harrison, yes, Margaret and Harrison, I love you, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret and Harrison are joy, and they bring joy to everybody in here, and I'm honored 
Yes, I'm the shortest one, and I'll be on the very end. <laughs> but I am honored to stand by their side. I love them. I've watched them grow as a couple. Yes, I've only known you in college. I'm not all known you as only some of these people. But I'm honored to stand beside you. And thank you for taking me under your wing freshman year, showing me what it was like to be a friend and to be joyful. Um, I love you both. I cannot wait to see your life together. Cheers. Cheers.
2013. Right? Uh, Molly Cyrus twerked on the stage at the VMAs <laughs> with the foam finger. Um, the Ellen DeGeneres had the you know iconic Oscar selfie with you know, yes. Brad, or Bradley Cooper and all, all of the people. Yeah. Um, Ice Bucket Challenge. <laughs> everything, everything. Um, Taylor Swift went pop. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> the white or gold dress break broke the internet. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I saw I white people. Um, Harambe, may he rest in peace. Uh, Pokemon Go, the beginning and ending of Vine. Um, all of this to say, I cannot put into words how much Morgan and I have been through together. Um, she is one of my very best friends in the entire world. She's the most giving and most selfless person I've ever met. And Harrison, I love you very much. And I'm not going to say anymore if I cry. She already has to. I already have like multiple times a day. Anyway, I love you both in departments. <laughs> My name is Reed. I'm gonna make this short and quick. Uh, I don't have a list like she does, unfortunately, but I will say if if I did, definitely be a lot of good stories uh, with our group and everything. But I will say this: that hi, Margaret. I'm excited for y'all's future. Um, there's no question, Pi. You know, I'll, I keep saying Pi. Excuse me. That's what I call him. I know it's Harrison, but that's what I, I call him Pi River Pi. Um, but I'm, I'm so excited for y'all's future, like I said, and you know, you've been there, like, like Zach said, you've been there with me through the hard times as well, especially these past few months with what I've been going through, and you know, it's, uh, you know, you can't ask for a better friend when it comes down to that, and especially both of y'all. Um, y'all been so generous, and y'all, when y'all, when y'all together, y'all compliment each other, but y'all make each other perfect, but also y'all bring the best out of each other. Um, and I think that's a really good quality uh, moving forward. And I just want to say I appreciate, you know, I'm so happy to be able to consider you all both my, one of my good friends. And, uh, you know, I'm really happy about tonight, but also tomorrow, uh, getting the job sealed and having a good time. So, sure. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> job, whatever. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Harrison actually said it best. I remember my freshman year on um, Margaret's porch at the tracks. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Summer, I don't know, but it was me, him, and some other people. And he was like, you know what? Anybody that ever meets Margaret or knows her, they never have a single negative thing to say about her. All they can do is praise her. She's an amazing woman in every way. And she's shown me how to be a wonderful friend. And Harrison, I feel the same way about you. You're an amazing man, and it's just like you look at the two of you, and you're like, you're both great people, and you both deserve nothing but the best. And I truly really think that you have found it in each other. So um, I'm honored to get to be a part of y'all's special day tomorrow. I'm so happy for you guys, and I love you. So cheers to you.
And I just want to thank Drew Smith for, <laughs> he knows what I'm about to say, but they, they went to the prom together as freshmen and she was about a foot and a half taller. <laughs> I, 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 when he was at, working at Stanford with us, I brought it up to him in the hallway every day. And, and I remember the first time I met Harrison was at a volleyball match out at the, uh, out at the Crossplex. And, and volleyball is not one of my favorite sports because I've hired two volleyball coaches in my life. Uh, Marcus said, you got to come and you got to meet this guy. And, What's his, last, what's his name? Harrison? Harrison what? Harrison Fiverr? And I goes, you kidding to Scott? And he goes, yes, it's Scott's his uncle. And I said, no. <laughs> no, but I mean, we all, these are two great families getting together. We're very close with them. We've known him and Reed and, you know, we, everybody knows everybody in this, in this small world. And, uh, you know, it's uh, I have notes. I saw I saw uh, John Hanna give a hour speech one time from his cell phone. It was the worst ever. I said I would never do. <laughs> but uh, you know, when she played ball, she wanted to guard the toughest one. And. Uh, it was always fun to watch. And I saw him the night he got hurt. That hurt me. Because I saw what he was made of. And what he wanted. He couldn't have it. And I see it all the time in what I do. And uh, the day he came to ask me, I had a recruit. I'm trying to get her sign or get her to commit and get her out. And he's saying, hey, can I come by? And yes, and Joe's just hollering at me, hey. And I said, I, I got things I need to do. I'm trying to sign this girl from Georgia. And, and, uh, and we, it was very brief and it was easy. And, uh, and then they did it down here and uh, it was so much fun. It's going to be fun. But thank everyone, the Freemans, the second family for these. I mean, Francis has been. I, I, I texted her this morning. At the end of the year, you know, at the end of the year, you get all these pictures of your year in review. But the first one that popped up was her and her. And uh, it was kind of fitting. But thanks, everyone. And it's going to be the next 24 hours, and then the rest of their lives is going to be fun. So thank you all for your friendship. He said he was going to be last, and he was close. <laughs> I, I don't have anything else really other than to just thank you again and, and to just let you know that we've got uh, just a, another event to hang out in. Uh, Enjoy each other uh, after this, and, uh, and, and just want to say, yeah, just how much we love you, what a blessing you are. Uh, I keep thinking about Jeremiah 29 11, which says, I know the plans I have for you, uh, a future with a hope to prosper you, to bless you, and I know that that's what's in store for you. And we're so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for this group of friends, for this family. <coughs> That love you so much, and, uh, and just as perfect, as perfect as you are. It's just, uh, yes, your mother and I are. <laughs> My wife and your mother are. <laughs> I hope everybody will enjoy this. My mother? I said, your mother. Thank you. I hope everyone will uh, enjoy themselves and uh, continue to celebrate this this